Good morning. So here we are at Shrinkle Haven Bay in Pembrokeshire. It's a beautiful place. Um, and today we're going to talk about long exposure photography and um, photographing the sea um, using ND filters. This is the kind of photography I absolutely love. Um, uh, today we've got quite a lot of cloud cover, but hopefully we'll get a really kind of serene dawn as the sun first starts to hit the horizon. So we're going to try a couple of different locations and I'm going to take you through how to take long exposure photography. So here we are, set up for the first shot of the day. I've got it on the 64 ISO f11 and when i take the shots it comes out um, i'm bracketing it to start off with just to just to get different exposures and see how they look um, uh, when it comes out you get different a different variety of shots um, that i'll show you up on the screen so first thing to do is just put this in two second shutter so i don't get any camera shake on the camera at all and i'm going to take the shots on the Big Stopper app or another app, you will see that for the meter reading, for the amount of uh, seconds of shutter speed you've got, um, it will give you the time needed to filter it. Now, what happens is if that time is under about a tenth of a second, um, it goes into the uh, into many, many, many minutes of exposure very, very dramatically. So I always try and keep my, critically, I always try and keep my shutter speeds um, to round about one eighth of a second. So what you need to do is compromise. So you need to make the ISO um, higher. So you have slightly um, higher film sensitivity, slightly uh, lower quality image in a way. Um, and also sometimes you need to take that aperture um, down as well so the opening in the aperture gets slowly slowly wider now what that does is it compromises to get to get the shutter speed to where it needs to be now the shutter speed currently is at um, as I said at 1.8 um, and um, that will allow me to do a two minute exposure uh, so I'll take you through that so the, the next thing that we do um, we make sure that the camera once it's focused is set to manual so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to zoom into my focus area and make sure that that is um, definitely focused where i want it so i'm just manually focusing to make sure i've got absolutely everything in focus i might also yeah that's fine okay so i've set my focus um now i need the focus on manual and i need the camera on manual as well um, so the next bit is putting in the filter so when you put the filter in what's fantastic about this camera is you will be able to see the exposure but it does have problems um it does have problems focusing properly okay so here we go so i'm just going to take this i'm slotting this i don't know if you can just about see this but um slotting this on the, there are two rungs in here i'm going to slot this on the inside rung to try and seal this up to make sure that no light comes in so you can see this kind of sealed back here and that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that there's no light coming into the, um, to the, to the um, filter itself. Now I'm going to clip this on to the camera. Right, so the next, the next bit is this. When I've got it in manual, um, at the moment, uh, I've got my aperture and I've got my ISO set up, but I now need to change my shutter speed so this is the next bit so um, i'm going to change my shutter speed down to bulb okay um, and what bulb will do is it will open the shutter for any length of time that i want 
Okay, and now I'm going to time two minutes and we're going to take our shot. Right, let's see what we've got. So, I'm just zooming in to see, uh, uh, to see what it's like, what's in focus, and uh, lovely. Okay. Right, got a really good exposure there, that's fantastic. Here we are at the next location. So this is the wonderful church door. So church doors, here we are. So first of all, again, we're gonna do a long exposure and um, I'm gonna set this up now. So now this time I'm gonna use the 10 stop um, ND filter again, okay? Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a reading. So I put the, put the tripod slightly higher to get more of the C in it. And um, this, is, this is looking really, really lovely. So I'm just going to position it a little bit and just um, play around with composition. Okay, brilliant. So um, then I'm just going to check for focus. That's all good. Um, so I'm using the same settings as last time. You can hear the C, it's so loud, it's fantastic. Um, right. So using the same settings as last time, at the moment it's on um, half a second. So I've got to get that down again using ISO um, to, um, to, to one eighth of a second. Okay, so here we go. So we've got all the settings right. Um, so now I need to get that big stopper out again and, uh, and put that onto the, the filter holder. So here it is. And I'll just take this and just slot it into the filter holder again like that. Right, so now I'm ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is um, take um, an exposure and I'm gonna take it for one whole minute. Okay, let's start. So um, this one's just to expose for the sky the sky's a lot brighter than the foreground, and it's really important to have those two exposures because it's quite difficult um, to, um, to, to have it all in one exposure sometimes. You sometimes need to do an HDR shot and blend the two. So we'll see how that goes. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, that's a much better sky. So now the foreground is really, really dark, just in silhouette, but the sky is the right exposure. So sometimes you have to balance the exposures in order to get the right shot. For this image, I saw it as I was about to leave. So again, I use the same process, the shutter's release, two second timer, and then I just checked it in the back of the camera to make sure I had the correct exposure. I was really looking to get those misty, beautiful rocks that you see there. So that brings us to the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it this wonderful place. Church doors really is quite something. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the waves. So long exposure uh, is an absolutely wonderful thing that can create real atmosphere in your photography. It can be overused. You need to use it for the right reasons as I've outlined in this video. And I hope you've really enjoyed this video. So again, if you like what you see, if you'd like to like and subscribe, that'd be great. And I'll see you on the next one. What?